You're going to the FCS playoffs for the eighth consecutive year. How does that feel? That's great, Chantel. I mean, um, our kids have worked really, really hard, our assistant coaches, everybody here, the administration, to put us in this position. And the great thing is that the kids came through and did it again on the field. And that's a, that's a really rewarding feeling and experience for everybody involved in the program. Now let's reflect on that game. There were a lot of great storylines. Come from behind win, playing Maine for the musket, and you're trying to reach the playoffs. What was that like? Well, you know, the first thing our kids were focused on was getting the musket back. And, uh, you know, I remember last year, at the middle of the season, we had to take it down. It was a big void in the locker room. And we waited until after the season. About one of the first goals we wanted to get was somehow get that thing back in our locker room. Unfortunately, it's the 11th game of the year, so you have to wait to do it. But their kids, it was first and foremost, they wanted to get that back. They felt very, very disappointed that they didn't have in the locker room. The next thing, the storylines in the game, we, you know, about being behind and coming back. You know, we talked to the kids about playing four quarters in the game, about staying the course in it, you know, and um, let's see how the dust settles when we get to the beginning of the fourth quarter. And fortunately for us, we had put ourselves in a position with 17-16 going in there and we were behind. But, you know, I felt we were coming coming back. We had some momentum and everything and, and, and the kids played, played hard, which they always do and makes us very, very proud how hard they played. And we came out with a great win, especially against Maine and getting the musket made it all that much better. It sure is. Now you've had some younger players really step up with these injuries. Who do you feel is really, really contributing to the team right now? Well, I, I, I think it all starts with our running backs, and it's all three of them. You know, Dontre Peters has been having a great year, and Chris Setting, another guy who played a little bit last year in young, but then Nico came in, and, and you know, um, he, he had a bigger role this week because Dontre was hurt, and as we told him on Tuesday and Wednesday, relax, you're not coming out. You know, I mean, uh, you're, you're going to play, and, and, and he looked forward to doing it. I think it took a lot of pressure off him. Um, he relaxed in practice and really saw things. And then the game, he just played the way we've seen him do in spurts, you know. And then when, when he does that, you know, our kids see it in practice. The folks don't get to see it because you got Dontre and Chris playing all the time, but we knew he was going to do it. And um, felt really good, really good for R.J. Harris, another young guy who, um, you know, he's been playing well all year. But the last couple of weeks with Mickey Mangieri involved a little bit, he got back at it, made some great catches, some great plays. You have a bye week, and then you're going to be preparing for Montana State. What can we expect? Well, uh, first of all, you know, we're playing a, a, probably one of the toughest opponents we played all year. Um, they're, they're a very, very well-coached football team, and they're a talented team. They can run the football. Uh, they've got two or three backs that are very good. They've got a quarterback that's very athletic. And, you know, um, it's, it, it's a team that's going to test us in the places where we have been struggling the most this year trying to stop the run. The second thing is that, you know, we're traveling again. And uh, a lot of people look at it a lot of different ways. Our kids are embracing it. They're looking forward to making another trip to a place where we've never sang, you know, uh, uh, our fight song and never had an opportunity. You know, we've been out there twice, once when I was a, a junior in college and once when I was my first year coaching you know, in the playoffs. And uh, we haven't won out there. We're looking forward to having an opportunity to go out there and get one. You've been in this position several times. What's different about this year that can make you go all the way? Well, you know, I, I think we're getting better as the season's going along here. And I, and I, and I, and I think some of the kids are, are, like you said before, starting to find a role, starting to feel it, and, and, and they're contributing as before when we were – and most of the summer, most time we were banged up a little bit. Now I think we got some injuries, but I think by the time we get to next Saturday, we'll be in pretty good shape, full, go, full, ready to go, and uh, be exciting to see those guys all playing together. What are you looking for in Montana State to try to stop them? Well, we got to keep the ball inside us. They're, they're a very, they're a fast bunch of kids in the in, in the backfield, and, and, and they have a receiver that runs the ball. They have uh, two backs, like I said, you know. Uh, We'll know we're in trouble if people are chunking off 15, 20-yard runs against us. We just got to keep it inside us and, um, you know, tackle better. And then the biggest thing offensively, she knows, hanging on to the football. If, if, if Kevin and the, and the, and the skilled guys on offense can keep the ball in their hands, we'll be fine.